Good morning ladies and gentlemen. So we're starting the vlog today in the car because I have a bit of a rush on. So I'm laid in bed thinking, oh what shall we do this morning? There's no rush, it's Sunday after all. So I thought I'll go and have a look. See if I can pick up some 0.8 brand new welding wire for the MIG. Which will then allow me to obviously do a bit of welding. Knowing full well that the wire is in good condition, it should run through the feeder a bit smoother. Blah de blah de blah. So I go on to uh, my favourite hardware website, Screwfix. They don't have any in stock, and it's around twenty-four, twenty-five pounds for a five-kilo roll. So I have a look on Toolstation website, and I think there's a tool station just round the corner from Screwfix in Worksop. Lo and behold, it's about four pound cheaper a roll, and they've got it in stock. So I have a look at some of the things I bought in the past few days, like. The pipe work for the dust extraction, cheaper at tool station. So I think I may have a new love in my life. Then I get a message from the guy who I've bought a compressor off on eBay. He's taken like three days to get back to me. He's available at two o'clock today for me to collect it from Scunthorpe. So we're gonna belt across the workshop, come back, get the van, belt across to Scunthorpe, come back, see what's left of the day to maybe do a bit of welding. Let's go. Well, one thing certainly about Tool Station is that it's set in a much more scenic location with this church being directly adjacent to the car park. I just jumped over the wall to get this shot, but without a doubt, I think we'll be coming here a lot more. It's grand, isn't it? The washing machine is on as usual. I'm here to pick the family up and then Gemma can drop me off so I can get the van. You're going out somewhere nice, I guess. Park. Oh, it must be nice. Let's see how we get on with this then. An ABAC Redline 100 litre, 3 horsepower, single phase compressor. Couple of things I've noticed straight off the bat. Now I paid £95 for this, so I don't mind sorting a few bits and bobs out. Right, number one, I can't see what the oil's like. We may have to check that out. Number two, there appears to be no outlet and the dial is smashed so I think we'll change that and number three it looks like these tanks have been daisy chained together so I need to put a plug in there I don't think there's anything underneath there could be I'll have a look so straight off the bat we're gonna plug her in and see if she runs all right we'll set you up so you can see what's going on I don't know what's gonna happen it could blow up Plug her in and turn her on. Yeah. So 
We've definitely got the gas coming out of there because it needs a plug in there. And we don't know what pressure it's going to build up to, but the compressor runs and the motor runs. That is a good start. If anyone knows anything about this, I took tons of tips off you yesterday for the welder. So give me tips on this section here for the compressor please. And whether just to put a blanking plug. Everything you've told me so far has been fantastic, it's been invaluable. So talking about the feedback yesterday for the welder, I took it on board. I went out, I went out to tool station this morning as you know. We got five kilos of 0.8 mil MIG wire. So I'm gonna swap these over and put this on and take that uh, 1.2 mil stuff off and we'll see how that welds. And also, yeah, a lot of people commented about cleaning the workpiece. I know it should be clean. Uh, I was just literally trying to get the settings running right. But I suppose you're never gonna know, are you, with filthy metal? So, yeah, I guess I cocked up then. But we'll clean it today. If I get time, it's nearly four o'clock and I have to take the kids off Gemma at some point today. Okay, after some investigation, I have realized two things. One is that these rollers have indications on them. One millimeter and 1.2 millimeter if you flip them around. So therefore they're not big enough. I'm guessing that that's what these part numbers are for. Now, like Tony mentioned on the comment on yesterday's video, I don't have a plate with all of the voltages and amps on here. I've just got these dials. So I'm gonna try and find, a, I've got a PDF for this machine in French. So I think there might be a voltage table on there, we'll, or an amperage table, power table, whatever. We'll have a look at that. I don't know what this button and this dial do. Anybody know? And then secondly, I've taken the Euro connector plastic casing off. It's there. And this was wobbling side to side, you see, when I tried to put anything in, I could see it wobbling on these pipes on the inside. There's a little set screw on the top. So I just tightened him up. He's rock solid. So I think what I need is two rollers, probably 0.6 and 0.8 will be what they say. Whether the 0.8 is now gonna be suitable for this liner that I've got, I don't know, it should be, I imagine. But I obviously can't use that wire until then. It's probably not advisable, but I've stuck some duct tape on the rollers to increase the diameter a little bit. So let's see if that actually lets it pull the, pull the roll. It sort of does. What do you reckon? No, it didn't work. The tape just walked off sideways. So we're either going to have to put that 1.2mm wire back on or wait until we've got some new rollers. I think I'll put the one2 back on for a play. There we go, a bit of practice. There's a lap joint just there. Ignore that bottom one. That's not too bad though, is it? I've done worse. And it was filthy metal, because I can't get into clean it anymore. I think I've nailed it, lads. Well, what do you think to that, folks? We've got a stand in. She looks pretty level, and there's hardly no wobble onto her. Looks like there's a little bit of a dip in the middle, so I might have to put some. Yeah, you can see. Oh, does it look dipped? Not too bad, is it? Not much of a twist into her. But yeah, not pretty, but solid. And at least I can start to hone the skills now. I've got something to get down on properly. I'm pleased with it. Right, Gemma's here in the darkness somewhere. I've got to go, folks. So, in the car, shoot home. If I don't see you before, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>